so hello everyone in this video we'll be starting our blog app so for that I'll be initiating uh, the project first of all I'll be creating the backend files or the backend server then in the next video we'll be uh, preparing our front end so first of all uh, let me just type the npm init command which will create a, a basic package.json file which I can use uh, instead of index.js uh, we can write server.js in which we'll be writing our server code and we can leave all the thing as it is as you can see this is there now what I will do is I will install some of the dependencies which we'll be needing in starting our backend server first of all I'll be using express then I'll be using a course and then uh, mongoose and mongodb let's just uh, use these packages first and later on if we'll be needing any other package so that we'll also be using so it will install and uh, it will generate this node underscore modules folder which will contain our packages or dependencies which we have installed now let me just create server.js file and first of all I'll be creating a simple express variable first and I'm I'll be requiring it and then I'll be creating an app variable and then I'll be requiring it oh sorry I'll be making use of express which will return me uh, this app variable which I can use to check whether it is working fine or not and then I can listen it on a particular port I can specify the port variable here at the top let me just type 5000 as a port number in which uh, our backend server will be listening our request then I can simply log the server is listening so this server is listening is basically will be a callback function or this will be a log basically which will be running inside this callback function after successful uh, after we have successfully started our server if I just save it also I can make use of course so we don't get any course errors course is basically cross origin request errors which we generally have when we are making requests to from front end to back end so at that time we get these errors so to solve these things I'll be uh, you making use of app.use app.use is basically uh, express uh, express way of making uh, creating a middleware function which will be running for all the requests basically we can use it for all the requests and then I'll be specifying that inside that also we can specify origin like if you want to specify any particular origin uh, from which you want to receive uh, the data or uh, like from at the time of making request so that you can also specify like the front end uh, URL you can specify here for now I'll be just leaving it as default so let me just save it and we can add a comment to resolve course errors so let me just save it and now what I can do is I can simply uh, go to package.json file and here I can simply specify the start command here I'll just uh, type node server.js and if I type npm start this will run uh, node server.js command and you can see this is listening perfectly fine 
although you can make use of nodmon uh, package as well which is basically uh, will allow us to uh, run our backend server if uh, let's say if I make any changes let me just type so you can see this is running let me just go to localhost 5000 and show you that you can see I'm getting success request let's say instead of success I'm uh, I want to change this to server is listening so I made a change in server.js file right but uh, after making change it will still give me success message you can see it is giving me the previous success message which were added so because of that uh, we have to restart because of this change we have to restart uh, our server so this change is reflected on our server so because of this issue we generally use nodman pack nodmon package in the development so whenever we'll be making any change that nodmon package will restart our server automatically without us stopping the server and starting it again so if I just start it again by control C uh, after that uh, you can type this command npm start and then if I just refresh it so you can see uh, this is giving me the response or the updated response now uh, to allow these changes uh, like be ref, uh, ref, like reflected automatically and our server is uh, restarted automatically we can make use of uh, nodmon package you can install it by using dash g command and npm install dash g nodmon after that is installed globally why am i using globally or dash g because in uh, let's say in any other project if you want to make use of nodmon so you wouldn't have to install nodmon again otherwise if you want to only install nodmon package in a particular project so you can uh, add save dev so this command will save this package only in dependencies or make it making it a dev dependency only so it will be available for this package only so i have already installed nodmon globally so i wouldn't have to do it but you can make use of that let me just uh, type one more command which is uh, dev command I can type not one normon server dot JS and I can also start it if I save if I just type npm run dev now so it will run this command You can see it is starting a server.js file and now you can see the log is also in different colors so if I make any change now that will be reflected automatically and the server will be started automatically and let's say if I just type uh, this server is server started on port and port let's say if I do that so you can see if, whenever I'm making any change and saving the file so it is automatically restarting uh, my uh, server.js file or the backend server so you can see if I refresh it so you can see this is the response or the updated response so this way you can make use of nodmon package so the the basic uh, thing we have completed uh, this bare bone of our backend server let's uh, do the similar thing in the front end as well and then we'll be starting our blog app so thank you for watching let's meet in the next video